tonight celebrating all of you and supporting my husband in the Invictus Games which he founded four years ago. In that short span of time the games have evolved into an international platform of some of the best athletics and sportsmanship you could ever witness coupled with a camaraderie and close-knit sense of community which can only be defined as the Invictus Spirit. <laughs> With that said, and on a very personal note, I just wanted to thank all of you for welcoming me into the Invictus family. <laughs> I am truly so grateful to be a part of this with each and every one of you. And I'm not sure if many of you know this, <laughs> thank you. I'm not sure if many of you know this, but a few years ago, before I had met my husband, I had the incredible honor of visiting troops deployed all over the world, from the UK to Italy and Afghanistan. During this year's games in Sydney, I've witnessed the most amazing support networks that surround competitors, and I've had the privilege of meeting several of these family and friends. The Novak family from Chicago, is a prime example of this very thing. When their son Ryan suffered a severe injury, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down, doctors said he would never be able to walk again. But after speaking to his mom, Carrie, it was clear that it was through Ryan's strength of spirit and with the unwavering support of his parents that he was able to prove all of those doctors wrong. Not only has Ryan competed in sailing, swimming, and athletics this week, but when Harry and I saw him at the finish line of the sailing competition, he literally jumped into our boat, <laughs> with dexterity and ease, by the way, to give both of us a hug. Seeing Ryan's mom on the water that day, waving a flag to cheer him on, was a moment I will never forget. The support system on the ground here at Invictus is something unlike any other, because it's not just cheering on your own, but realizing that by the end of this week, your own becomes everyone in the Invictus family. It was, after all, only within 24 hours of meeting other families at the games that another competitor's little girl was calling Carrie, Auntie Carrie. This is what the Invictus family is all about. <laughs> On that note, I would like to invite everyone to please join me in a huge round of applause to thank all of the friends and family who have helped make these games possible. Hi guys. Good evening Sydney and those watching around the world. As always, as always, when these games close, I would like to start by saying thank you to PK and Lieutenant General Peter Lay and the whole Sydney 2018 team. The vision and hard work has paid off and you have put on a truly magnificent Invictus game. Thank you for being our partners over the last couple of years. 
and our team at the Invictus Games Foundation, especially Dominic Reed and Rose Hall for their tireless efforts and hard work. And to the competitors goes the biggest thanks of all. You have once again left us humbled and inspired by your example, by your determination, by your service, and by your sense of humour. The secret of these Invictus Games is not really about the amazing medical science that has saved the lives of our competitors and helped many of them to walk, swim, or move again. The secret to the success of these games has been accepting that mental health is the real key to recovery. Our competitors have helped turn the issue of mental health from a sad story to an inspiring one. They what. They want to live rather than just be alive. When you accept a challenge is real, you can have hope. When you understand your vulnerab vulnerability, you can become strong. When you are brave enough to ask for help, you can be lifted up. You can start living, doing, feeling, not simply surviving. And when you share your story, you can change the world. And I can't think of a better way to continue serving your country. I am so proud to call you my friends and my Invictus family. You are the Invictus generation, and you are showing us all that anything is possible. Thank you to everyone for an amazing Sydney Games. We'll see you in the Netherlands in 2020.